On September 9th, Oscar Dennis, former vice president of Paraguay, was abducted. Since the kidnapping, his family has not received any information regarding his whereabouts. They have lived these weeks in fear and desperation, but with a strong faith nonetheless. In fact, one of the first things they did was to write a letter to Pope Francis. The Pope received this letter and is following with paternal concern everything our father is going through. As I said, that faith we have in God is so great that we know he won't abandon us in any moment. Oscar Dennis boasts a long political career in his country. One of his focal points has been social justice, and he's always practiced a deep faith. That's why his daughters trust that the church will help them obtain his liberation. We hope the church will be a mediator if possible. We spoke to the bishop and he said he wouldn't have any problems. He said all we have to do is set up a way to carry this out, but that yes, the church could be a good mediator in all this, and that it's willing to do so. We have that confirmation. After the kidnapping, they received a note in which the Paraguayans People Army made some requests of the family and of the government. What was in our hands, with much sacrifice and thanks to many people's help, we managed to give. We fulfilled the request in time and in the way they wanted. We made known that it was one of the kidnappers' requests. However, what they asked of the government was out of our power, as they wanted the liberation of members of their military group. The Paraguayan Attorney General identified the members of the group holding him hostage. It includes three adults and three minors.